Okay, so this is geometry. This is section 3.1, Reflections, page 221. Um, I'm going to start by explaining to you that we're going to look at transformations. So there's some general um, information that you kind of need to know. Transformations are any time we take a figure and we <coughs> move it or we can adjust it, whatever. It's a movement of a figure. Is transformations. We have four of them. We have a translation which we're going to do, look at today. No, I'm sorry. We're going to look at reflections today. Reflection or translations are slides. Okay, so it's a slide. Uh, today we're going to look at reflections. I apologize. Reflections and reflections are a flip. Now because it's a flip, um, orientation is backwards. It's like looking in a mirror. Uh, when you look in the mirror, everything's backwards. If you look in your rear view mirror when you're driving, it's backwards. That's why sometimes in the old days, I don't know if they still do it, but an ambulance, the word was backwards on the front of the ambulance. And so when you looked at your rear view mirror, it actually said ambulance, okay? But this is reflection. And, and what I just said was that orientation is reverse. The word is orientation. I hope I spelled that right. Is reversed. All the rest of them, the orientation is correct, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the third one is a rotation. A rotation is a turn. It's a, these are the slang words, and then the fourth one is a dilation. And a dilation is a size change. Okay? Now, at, of them all, reflections are the only ones in which orientation is reversed. The rest of them have normal orientation. Uh, dilation is the only one in which um, the size of the figure changes. All the rest of them, the size, the, the, the size is the same. Okay, And this is called an isometry. An isometry is when you do something to it and the figure remains the same size. Okay, It's called an isometry. Alright, so what we want to do is, is we're going to reflect something over a line. And we're going to do line reflection. That means it's going to jump the line. Okay? So what I want you to do is, on your, in your notes somewhere, just, just take and draw a line. Okay? Um, and this is going to be the line of reflection. Okay? And then above it or below it, draw some sort of figure. It doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm, I'm going to use four sides. You can use whatever, how many sides you want. Obviously, most students do three sides because it's quicker, you know. But okay. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you how to reflect this over line. We're going to call this A, B, C, D. And I'm going to show you about orientation. This is called a pre-image. A pre-image. Sorry, that's an A. P-R-E-I-M-A-G-E. -E, pre-image. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to reflect it over that line. And you can do this with any straight edge. I'm going to actually use a piece of paper. Um, so that you can see that I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect it over this line. So in order to reflect it, every point is going to go a 90 degree over that line, and it's going to be the same distance. Okay? So what you can do is you can start with the edge here, and I try to eyeball a 90 degree. Does that look like a 90 degree to the A? Yeah. Okay. So I mark the, the dip, that distance, right? Now watch. I continue... Does that look like 90 degrees? I can kind of change it. And I put the point where the mark is so that it has the same distance away from here to here to here to here. And I'm a little short, I can tell. But it's, it's, it's close. You see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. All right. So, and, and this is called uh, A prime. Okay, so I'm going to write this over here. A with a little dash is called mm -hmm. A prime. A prime. And so when the reader looks at it, he goes, okay, the, that's the point that they're using for A. Okay? <coughs> we good? Okay, so then B, I'm going to go to B, and I'm going to try to do a 90 degree also. I'm going to mark it, and then I'm going to mark it away from that same point. And you can mark it 
on here too if it makes it easier for you. But I'm just kind of kind of mark it. So, and I'm am I exact? No, but I'm close. And this is B prime. And notice how B prime is inside of A prime. See, it's inside, right? Okay, then we do the same for C. I'm getting quite a few marks here. And this time, I'm going to mark it where I did it, okay? And then I'm going to mark it out, and I think there's the middle one. And that would be C prime. And then D prime. I'm going to mark it through here. Same mark. Uh, actually, it's going to go a little bit to it. Inside. Okay. And it goes like this. Now, I should connect these, right? So I'm going to use a straight edge. And you can tell that. And it's, is it going to be exact? No. Not quite. I'm trying not to. Every time I put something on it, it marks it up. So it should look like that. Okay. Now, did everybody, is there any questions on it? If you look at the pre-image, this goes A, B, C, D, correct? If I go in, start with A and I go in uh, clockwise, right? Look at this one. This is called the image. See, the pre-image comes before the image, right? And if I do this one, it goes A prime, D prime, C prime, B prime. So it's actually in reverse order if I stay in it, right? And so um, a reflection has, this is what I mean, opposite orientation. It has opposite orientation. Does that make sense to you? Okay. And the first two problems on your worksheet, that's what you do. And, and just get them close. You don't have to be, it doesn't have to be rocket science to get it done. You see how to do that? Okay, any questions about that? Okay. Well, we have some major things that we go over. Take a look at your worksheet. I don't have a worksheet in front of me. Did I leave them up there? Yeah. Anyway. Um, you're gonna, we're going to reflect over the axes. So um, if you take a look at uh, number three, it says the quadrilateral that over line equals y equals x over y equals x, and then the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay? So we are now on here, aren't we? Okay, let me show you y equals x. y equals x is this line right here. Okay. All right, let's take your first uh, problem there. You're not going to have a lot of homework. I know that's going to upset you quite a bit. Uh, but let's do, um, let's do this first quadrilateral, A, B, C, D. Okay. Uh, is, is it okay to use black? Do you see it okay? So A is a negative 3, 3. So it's right here, A. Okay. Now, how would we do, um, how would we do it to this line? How do we get it? It's perpendicular, right? It would go straight down, right? Which is right here. So one of the ways that we do it, and I don't know if this is in your book, but I don't, I don't know if it is. In there. Okay, take a look. Um, I really thought it was in your book. In there. Oh yeah, right here. Um, take a look on page two thirty four. Okay, two thirty four. Uh, it says if we if we graph across the y axis. Okay, if we graph again. So um, maybe I better do some notes here a little bit. Um, if we're graphing across the y equals x-axis, right, or line, okay. if your point is xy um, and we're going to reflect it, it becomes yx. Does that make sense? So what do we do with the x and the y? We just switch them, right? If we go to the y-axis, if that's what we're reflecting across the, um, the y-axis, um, 
and we have xy. We have um, a negative x, y. So we change the sign of the x, and we have y. And if we have the x-axis that we're reflecting across, and we have x, y, then we have uh, x and negative y, or the opposite of y. Okay, so we'll keep those in mind. All right. So let's take a look at our points on our on our worksheet, shall we? Remember, we're reflecting over this, right? We're over here, right? So we have um, a is a negative three, three. B is one four. By the way, you have to know these. Okay. Now you can kind of gauge these two. This one's a little harder. Um, C is four zero, and D is a negative three. A negative three is a negative three. Any questions so far? Okay, so tell me what A prime would be. Thank you, Dylan. What would be B prime, um, Angel? B prime. Four. I think it's just four one. Yep. C prime. Um, Chin. And then D prime actually is the same thing in there. Uh, so it reflects itself, right? Okay. So if I'm going to reflect across this, keep those points uh, common. So I would go uh, three and negative three would be A prime. Right? Um, B would be 1, 4. So B would be up here. B prime would be 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And make sure you're labeling it. B prime. And then C is 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. This is C. Okay? And then C prime is 0, 4. So it would be up here. And then D is a negative 3, negative 3. And uh, this would actually be D and D prime. Okay? So now you got a lot of points here, don't you? And, the, and it's confusing, isn't it? Why is it confusing? They, they crisscross, don't they? So I'm going to take, I'm gonna take uh, A to B. Use your straight edge. I'm going to take B to C. And then I'm going to go the same to D, right? Give me an amen or something if you're following me. What's that? Does it matter where the center line is? What? This one here? That's what you're reflecting over. Oh yeah, it matters big time. It's y equals x, not y equals negative x. Yeah. Do you need it? No. You don't have to have it graphed. I'm not going to cut. No, I'm just showing you um, which what line it is. And I'm trying to do this without racing my lines. It's always hard to do this when you race. You're you know when you're racing your lines. It's much easier to do this in a pencil. Trying to keep the protractor off it. So if my lines aren't completely straight, I apologize. Okay, so it looks like this. All right. Do we understand that? Okay. Have you got her whipped out? We good? Okay. I'm going to show you different ways to do this. Not this one. This one, pretty much, I think this is the best way to do this one. Okay. Any other questions? 
Okay, can I race? Yeah. I can leave it. Okay, so I'm going to go to the y-axis, all right? And I'm going to pick, obviously, I don't want to pick something out that's already there because I've already done one for you. So I'm going to pick out, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make a triangle. I'm going to go a negative 3, 2. B is a negative 3, a negative 4. And C is 0, uh, negative uh, is this a number four? 3. Uh, no, this is number, not a number. I'm making this stuff up. Yeah, I'm just making it up. Okay, so if I want to reflect this over the y-axis, I'm on the y-axis here, I want to reflect over the y-axis, then I would go A prime is what? It is 3, 2, where we change the sign of the x and we keep the y the same. You understand that? Mm -hmm. B prime is what then, um, Tyra? 3 and negative 4. 3 and negative 4. And then Kagan, what is C prime? It's what? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> We're doing <laughs> y-axis, this. Okay. I mean, not only does Chinny try to help you on the test, she helps you during the day, no, too. No, it's Tyra. Tyra. <laughs> oh, Tyra. now, oh, no, you, no, I, you threw your voice, Ginny. I know you. I did not. I did not. I did not. I don't hear you, Dude, Curtis, like, but you I not. Like okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and graph the original. A negative three two, which is A. A negative three, a negative four, a negative three, and a negative four is B. And then C is 0, negative 3. Okay? So we have that, that right? Oops. What is B? B is a negative 3 and negative 4. Did I do that wrong? I know, minus 3. Okay. What is C? Minus 3. C is 0, negative 3. Did you not write them down? No. Oh, nice. Well, how did you do them then? I just put them in the head. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so there's the original triangle. And now uh, A prime, we're, remember we're reflecting over the y-axis, so A prime is 3, 2, okay? And B prime is 3 and negative 4. And then C is the other one. Uh, C and C prime are the same. Oops. Um, C prime and C. Sorry about that. And so when I, when I go to uh, use my straight edge to mark the sides, it looks like this. Yeah, go ahead. Throw those out, please. They're bad. Yeah, is there some? I hope there's some in there. Okay. All right. Looks like I'll have to get some more. Okay. Does everybody see how that works? Why is your, your B's not Yeah, your B's not I was wondering why oh. I was up one. I was like, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. It didn't look right, did it? <laughs> one, two, three, four. There you go. B prime. And I'm creating the image, right? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay. How's that? Mr. Bowtie. Okay, one thing I want to show you is, I wanted to show you an easier way. Notice that A, since I'm going across the y-axis, I just count to the y-axis and then count away. Go two and then away. One, two, three, one, two, three, right? B is the same thing. Here's, here's a B right here. I go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then C is right on. Okay, so that's an easier way to reflect across the y-axis. Do you understand that? Okay, so the next one, uh, I'm going to reflect this. I'm just going to erase this. And I'm going to show you how to reflect across the x-axis. Okay, just erase that if you can, just the one. And let's use the same triangle. Now let's use the method. Instead of going back and using this method, where I change, instead of, I change them all, okay? Instead of doing that, let me just show you this new method. 
Okay. What I do is I go to um, I go I'm, I'm reflecting across the x-axis and it works for the y-axis too, but I just take a and I go one two one two and so a prime is right here. Does everybody see that? No. Okay. B then I go to the x-axis which is one two three four and I go away from the same one one two three four. Now this is going to get wild when I graph it, right? Because this is this side moving, okay? It's reflected. And now C, uh, I'm going to the x-axis, so I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I go to it and then away from it. So this is C prime. So when you graph, when you, not, uh, when you draw your triangle, it looks like this. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it off there so I don't erase. Okay, so it looks like that. That would be reflected across the x-axis. Got a little got a little wild there. Okay. So you can use either method, but honestly, if it asks you now, now it's going to ask you for the coordinates. So if you use this method, then you got to you got to just do the coordinates by what you see. So this would be zero three. This would be a negative three four. And this would be um, a negative 3, negative 2. Okay? So that's how you do that. All right? So um, this method works uh, great on these two. It's a little harder on that one. Okay? The nice thing about y equals x, all you do is switch your x and y, and you got it. Okay? Now on your worksheet, if you take a look at your worksheet, on these four problems, okay, on those four problems, you're going to, uh, uh, I want you to, listen, they give you the, they give you the original, I want you to list all the primes and their coordinates, and then graph both of them, each one, so you're going to list all the primes and their coordinates, and then you're going to graph both figures, you're going to list all the primes, off to the side here, and then, okay, so make sure you list the prime so that we just practice that. Okay? So point to the primes, right? Right, the ordered pair. Like A prime is negative two, three. Okay? Yep. All right, do we understand? <laughs> All right, this is due tomorrow. Okay? No, not the back side, just this side. Okay? All right?